if, if something feels like it's horribly wrong, then it is good to have that biomechanics. Um, but I'm a lot of I think a lot of well, a lot of top players have gone feel they they could tell if something's not quite right. They can tell their timings out, and if that's the case, maybe getting the video and actually looking through it and just seeing if there's anything that has changed. I mean, your body shape might have changed over from what you were doing two years ago to now to whatever. So, I mean, there could be a few factors, but um, I think I think as a, as a learning tool for people coming through, I think it, it's quite valuable just so they can see themselves and then having some of the knowledge to identify, you know, the, the points of, of release or, or what their knees are doing, what their legs are doing, what their arms are doing, what their back's doing. So it's, it's, it is very much helpful. Yeah, I, I totally agree with, with Shannon. I think um, all of your really good players will know uh, whether or not their, their technique and their delivery is okay. Um, but as he said, when it's not okay, um, that's when you pull the video out. Having said all that, for the Com Games in Birmingham, where two thirds of the players, or in the in the wider squad when we started, had never played in heavy green, we videoed every single one of them, and we sat down with them one on one and went through what it looked like because the delivery does have to be different uh, in terms of rhythm and timing and where the release point is. So the release point's further in front of you of than it would be um, on a quick green. So we actually had to teach some of those athletes how to play the game again, technically as well as tactically.